Good morning. Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. This is Jasmine. I'm doing a four card spread for this is for fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius for the month of March 2020. New love messages coming in. But first, I want to show you my cup. It's coffee is God's way of saying good morning. Isn't that beautiful? I found this cup. Uh, I don't even know where I found it. <laughs> I've had it for a while. Uh, isn't that beautiful? Always coffee time. Anyway, uh, if you don't know, I'm a collector of cups. I just love cups. I've drank coffee this morning, a protein shake, and now I'm drinking orange diet orange soda. <laughs> okay, I don't drink soda that often, you know. Okay. Fire signs, oh my goodness, look at this spread. You got new love coming in. And the reason I have four cards instead of three is because these cards all fell out at the same time when I was shuffling. So the message here is very strong. And uh, uh, the spirit guys wanted me to pull the four cards, so I did. Let's get started with the first one. We have the two of wands. So this is in the past position. I'm seeing that you are you were waiting. This is the card of waiting. I'm seeing that you were waiting on something. This is you because this card represents Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. You are a fire sign, so this is you. You have the world on your hands, and there's this pole here. It represents what you've already done. You see how you're up high, maybe on the top of your castle, and you're looking out towards the future. You hold the world in your hands, so that means that... You've already accomplished a lot, and you're looking toward your future. You And this card represents what you still have to do. I mean, this uh, wand here. And um, you're holding the world in your hands, rep meaning that you're, you're out there looking, waiting for what the universe is going to offer you. Okay, so this is the card of waiting. And before I finish, um, this is a general reading. If it doesn't resonate with you, you can always contact me for a personal reading with the information down below. I do have a new email, and it's listed down below. All right. Be mindful of the comments, as I usually say. Now, with this card, I see that you're looking towards a world. You're ready to put energy into your life, into your new beginning. I see some of you starting a new business or a new project, and you're waiting for your ships to come in. So it looks like you're waiting on a second party to come help you, um, and you're looking out with anticipation. I'm seeing a lot of anticipation. You're really excited about this new project. Again, don't start new projects till after March 10th. This is a March reading, so don't start till after March 10th because of Mercury retrograde. If you start a reading, I'm sorry, if you start a business, new business, during Mercury retrograde, it will fail. So wait till after March 10th when Mercury has gone direct. If you don't know what Mercury retrograde is, there is two videos uh, down below that you can watch about Mercury retrograde and get a little bit more educated about it. And if not, that's okay. All right, so the Two of Wands indicates that you're waiting on results. And this could be, since this is a love reading, you're waiting on results on a, a on a uh, new love interest. I, interest. I see a new love interest coming in. Why do I say that? Because here he is right here, he or she rushing in. Okay, so... Um, You've already set things in motion. Perhaps you were out somewhere and you met someone and you gave them your number, you introduced yourself and you're waiting maybe for the phone call to come in or you've already gone out on a date. You're waiting for more results to see if they're going to call you back or ask you for a second date or vice versa. Um, yeah, so you're you're patiently, I'm hearing patiently waiting, waiting for your rewards um, and I do see someone helping you along the way as far as a new enterprise growth, uh, something that's growing, something you've worked on that's growing, and it's going to get things moving along. I see a new idea coming in that's going to help you materialize whatever it is you're waiting on, whether it be a new business, a new relationship, friendship, or whatever. I see a new idea coming into your mind that's going to really push things along and help you materialize what you're waiting for. This is something you've been waiting for for a long time. 
fire signs. I see that the, those of you that are single, you've been waiting for a new relationship to come in. And I see that your ships are finally coming in. If you're already attached, then your love interest is just going to grow even fonder for you. Um, your relationship is going to go even deeper with a deeper meaning, more mutual feelings coming in. Y'all are going to celebrate. I see celebrations. Why? Because here's a celebration card. I'll read that one in the end. Okay, so let's move to the second card, which is the Eight of Wands. So these wands are flying through the air. They're rushing in. They're coming in quickly. So whoever this person is, is going to move. want to move things right along really quickly. So again, this is the card of love and enthusiasm. I'm seeing an Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So this might be you, or you might be meeting a new Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. But this person um, is going to want to move things along really fast. They might want to get into a relationship really fast, move in really fast, get married really fast. If this is a business Things are going to land in success. I'm hearing success. I'm hearing happiness and pleasure. Um, you're moving in the right direction. Okay. I see progress towards a goal, whether it be a business idea, a new education, or a new relationship. Possibly a change of environment. So I'm seeing that you might move. You might go out of town, travel. I'm seeing travel with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or uh, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. You might be traveling with somebody for a job and then it, turn, it turns into a love relationship. Or you might be traveling alone and you meet someone over there that turns into a love relationship. But in any event, you are going to travel or someone is traveling to come see you and they're going to propose. I see a gift in their hand. I see a ring or a gift or a small box with something in it that's going to lead to a proposal, a promise or something like that, uh, 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 some type of engagement. And it's going to be a really joyous event again. Why? Because here's the card of celebration. All right, so everything you do in the month of March is going to land in happiness. You're moving in the right direction. I keep hearing that you're moving in the right direction. And this card encourages you to take action. Take action. Take action. Don't miss this opportunity because there's great opportunities in March for for you, uh, whether again, if it's business, um, new education, relationship, or whatever you're involved with, who you're involved with is going to land in great success, travel, good business, new love interest, everything. I'm hearing all of that from this card. Okay, so let's move to the next card. This is the Emperor. So, with the Emperor, I'm seeing that this person that you're going to meet is somewhat of an authority figure. Okay, I'm hearing an authority figure. Um, this person, the emperor dominates, okay? He dominates the world. He dominates activities. He dominates um, um, leadership. He, When he shows up in your reading, he represents the need to develop leadership. Um, yeah, so he tries to teach like good logic or reasoning ability. I'm hearing reasoning ability. He's a problem solver. So this person that you are meeting, he or she, you could be man or woman, could be in some type of leadership. They could be a manager or some type of leader of something. Um, so this card, I'm hearing that it gives you logic and reasoning. I keep hearing that over and over. Good counsel and advice. Some of you might need counseling if you're already in a relationship and you things were rocky in the past. Things are going to get better in March because you're going to seek some type of counseling. This counselor gives good advice, good counseling, which in turn leads to your relationship being saved. Um, you're going to have the meeting of the minds. I'm hearing meeting of the minds and your relationship is going to move forward from that problem, which again will cause a celebration. Here's a celebration. <coughs> so the emperor, um, is a, an authority figure. Okay. I'm hearing authority figure. I'm seeing some of you, if you're involved, uh, in some type of, thing at work, maybe it was a disagreement or something, the authority figure is going to come in and have a meeting 
and then things are going to get better. I see government connections, authority figures, some of you that are higher up in government connections. Um, yeah, I see that, that you're going to prosper in that uh, field, okay? So whether it be your boss, your doctor, your father, whoever that comes up in this card, this person is going to help you master your abilities to um, analyze whatever situation you're in. This person is going to lead. He's a leader, okay? So if you're marrying somebody like that, everything's going to work out okay. It's going to be great. It's going to be positive. And if you, if you know someone that need that... Um, that is this way that you're seeking counsel from, they're going to give you good advice. Okay, so that's what I'm hearing with this card. Yes. So now we're going to move to the Three of Cups. So this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You might, there's going to be a celebration. So when you meet this person, if you meet this person, when you meet this person, or if you're already involved with this person, you're going to have something to celebrate because here we have the three people uh, this is a group of people. They're they're dancing around. They're holding their cups up in the air, and they're very happy because they're about to celebrate either a wedding, uh, an engagement. Maybe you got a raise at work. Um, it's party time. I'm hearing party time. Um, it's I'm hearing harvest time. Um, I'm I'm hearing that you're going to celebrate the bounty of your labors. Maybe you did a good job. And you got a raise, so you're having a party. I'm seeing a party being thrown, good food, good friends, and a lot of happiness and joy. I see people dancing, dancing around in a circle, dancing to music. So I'm seeing a, maybe a wedding. Um, yeah, I'm seeing a wedding. Some of you are going to be getting married in March. Um, I'm seeing that this event's going to have a combination of friends and family. So you're going to invite friends and family and and some, I'm seeing someone making a toast saying, uh, we look forward for the things that are coming into life for you. I'm hearing that strongly. So celebrate, 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 celebrate in the month of, the month of March, fire signs, because all these good things are coming. Okay. And if you're already attached, again, I see you reconciling if you had problems in the past. And then I see you throwing a celebration. Some of you might be getting married again, renewing your vows in March. Wait till after March 10th when Mercury goes direct. Because you don't want to do anything. You don't want to start anything new during Mercury retrograde, which we are in right now. And then Mercury goes direct on March 10th. So wait till after March 10th to renew your vows, to get married, to start a new business, new friendship, or whatever, to travel, or whatever, wait, so after March 10th, when Mercury goes direct, and then things will go much better for you, and they will move forward, all right, so this is a very, very good message for, love message for all fire signs, March 2020, now remember, it's just a general reading, if it doesn't resonate with you, then you can contact me for a personal reading if you want to. All right. Also, for the people that are non-believers, why are you on my page? Okay. Be mindful of the comments because I do not put up with any negative comments. You will be deleted or blocked or maybe I'll send you away somewhere. <laughs> Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for all the subscribers that have subscribed so far. I re really appreciate you. Leave your comments and what you want to see next. And I will try to do a video for that. And take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.